presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the BioWare Classic. We have already begun. Let's pick up with the action at hole number four. Early in the round, still holding steady, even par on the day. Yeah, it's got that feel it could go either way here. Next few holes will probably tell us which way. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Good, clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. Settles in over the putt. Oh, man, just slides by. And only a tap in left. Good putt. Could use this. A putt for par. Did the job right there. Now to the fifth hole here at the Wetlands. Par five, 635 yards. A lot going on here, Frank. The shorter hitters don't really worry about the uh, the swamp land on the left because it really only cuts in to worry the longer hitters if you want to try and reach this par five and two. So shorter hitters, two good shots, set up a wedge shot. Longer hitters, they get straight enough to hit it into the narrowest part of the fairway. Second shot. Good scoring opportunity, third shot here at the par five. That is how it's done right there. What an approach shot. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Record that as a birdie to bring the score to one under for the tournament. Par four sixth here at the wetlands, 440 yards and water to deal with. Two choices here, Rich. Lay it up, short of the wetlands, or, well, chance it, brave enough, tee it up and flash it across the wetlands to just a mere short iron into this lengthy par four. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Great effort right there, and a great chance to knock in that short putt. And this would be nice. Two straight birdies. Didn't go in, Frank, but not a bad effort. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Been a little too much of that, Frank, just sort of ho-hum pars. Here's another scoring opportunity, Frank, a par five. The seventh is just a shade under 600 yards. And it bends gently to the left, Rich. Longer hitters can obviously get home and nothing really to be worrying about with that second shot if you can reach. The wetlands are well to the right of this hole um, for the second shot. But uh, if you want to play to the three-shotter, then that's a very safe, conservative way and really shouldn't cause you any problems whatsoever. Nice position, short grass, second shot.
Now his third, staring right at the green. Should be safely on deck. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Moves into the top ten with that birdie. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the BioWare Classic. What a hole this is, Frank. Par 3-4, 250 yards, and we're, we're teeing off right in front of the swamp there. You might see the odd alligator pop its head up. Um, when you look at this, if you want to be clever, you can sort of hit a little cut in here, Rich, and then you'll... It'll work with that C-shaped green. It'll get the tee shot away from the bunker that protects the middle. And uh, you never know, it might just sneak in a birdie. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. And who knows, it is a four-round tournament, setting himself up for a good weekend, maybe a great one. The young star makes his birdie. Good look now at the fifth hole here at the Wetlands. Par five, and it's a good one. 635 yards. Ah, uh, nice. That looks good. Frank, it may be obvious you'd rather have a ball sitting up perfectly in these fairways as opposed to the deep rough off to the left or right. But how is a player able to take advantage when he has that good lie? Well, anything better than that would be sitting on a tee. That is a perfect lie. It almost guarantees good contact. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at birdie. And getting ready for the putt. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets them in the top ten. On to the par four sixth here at the Wetlands. And, Frank, how does that water factor into the way you play this hole? It bisects this fairway beautifully, Rich. Uh, 233 yards to the run out on the first section of fairway. And that might be worth considering for the short hitters. To try and flash it across the narrowest part of those wetlands, 276 yards. And of course, the more horsepower you got, actually the easier this tee shot becomes. This is the second shot at the par four. Set up for his third shot here, looking to get it on the green with this. 
And he's made the green. It's no snack, though. Oh, how did that mess? Are you kidding me? I mean, that one was dead center. Bit unfortunate, loses a shot here with that bogey. Frank, now we get a crack at another par five. The seventh is 592 yards. And certainly reachable, especially with a tee shot that follows the shape of this fairway, which is slightly to the left. Good tee shot, you can get home. And those bunkers, if anything, are nicely uh, placed on that left side of the green, actually to protect a shot that goes too far or too left. A great way to start a hole nicely placed in the fairway. Set for his next shot from a good position in the fairway. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Well, he gave us a demonstration today why he's one of the best in the sport. Every green hit in regulation. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Eighth hole here at the Wetlands. Par three, 203 yards. You like this hole, Frank? I do, actually, but you have to have a little look at your yardage book because that uh, front bunker will make this hole look a little shorter uh, to the eye than actually what it plays. Green gets a little narrow as it gets deeper, but um, flat. And, uh, well, I wouldn't say easy. Three here, not too bad. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a formality now. Trying to make yet another birdie. <laughs> Player knows they're on the move with that birdie. Quick glance at the leaderboard. They can see, Frank, they're not out of it. Things are very volatile right now. The ninth hole, Frank, is a muscular par 5, 621 yards. You see why uh, length is a huge advantage of this golf course, um, just under 7,700 yards. This hole here, another example, good tee shot, perhaps think of going for the par five and two, but a uh, great collection of three bunkers that sort of annoy you with your layup there. Got to make sure you avoid all of those to leave yourself a nice little wedge shot in here if you can't reach it in two. Chance to get it close here. Frank, this has been impressive. Game plan, stuck to it, hitting some quality shots. He has really done his homework on the golf course, um, swinging well, and uh, well, there's a few holes uh, to go too. And this round could get even better. So one shot closer to the lead with that birdie. So that is a top 10 performance through two rounds, Frank. It's always nice to know that you have a shot with two rounds left in the tournament. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly...